my friends, it's Christina again with Mary's story in Advent. And today my focus is on Mary's song of praise. Remember Mary visiting Elizabeth? Elizabeth's greeting affirms Mary's faith. With this show of solidarity from another woman, Mary's doubts disappear. Yes, blessed is she who believes that the promise made to her by God will be fulfilled. What reassurance! What a gift! How significant this was for Mary! How often do we need reassurance when we are challenged or required to face difficult situations or to carry heavy responsibilities? We need solidarity by other women, by other men, by fellow Christians, by angels and friends. With such a solidarity and assurance, Mary feels absolutely liberated. She's liberated from her fears and misgivings, from her feelings of weakness and inadequacy. And now she can sing. Where do Mary's powerful words come from? She is no politician, no revolutionary. She just wants to sing a happy song. But all of a sudden she has become an articulate radical, an astonished prophet singing about a world in which the last have become first and the first last. And her song puts it all in the past tense, as if the hungry have already been fed and the rich already lived without their unjust possessions. How can that be? There is this tiny being growing in Mary's womb, and she's already singing of his great deeds as if they were history. Mary is talking about more than shaking the rocks and dusting off the furniture. She is talking about a thorough cleaning that shakes the very foundation of all that is familiar and comfortable. It is Mary the mother of Jesus, who speaks this strong message before God's child is born. And before Jesus had the power of speech, Mary had already said it. Mary thinks about a new creation, about a new way of committing ourselves to the world and to each other. Her yes thinks of revelation and liberation and transformation. And our yes What does it sing of? Whoever we are, in Mary we are called to live and sing. Not necessarily sing well, but to give expression to the call upon us to bear hope in the midst of struggle and peace in the presence of pain. We are the beloved of God, invited into partnership with the Holy. How could we keep from singing? On your journey and in your waiting, may you be blessed. May you feel the strong, sacred, ancient threads that connect us with all who wait for peace, for justice, for strength, for healing and compassion. Have a wonderful Advent Sunday.